When first we had a lucky look at the drawings, I knew this was a perfect project for the town pump CNC on account of the tolerancing. It wasn't there. We can hit those. The one thing, you have a look at the drawing and you kind of get in your mind's eye how you're going to machine that and what tools you have on hand, what materials you have on hand. I knew I was going to go in there with the high feed mill because it's got a nice long shank and it doesn't chatter as much because you're not pushing on the side of the tool, you're pushing axially this way. Being as it was a new tool, I fingered right off the hop, 
I'm going to fuck this up. So fail fast and fail hard. And lo and behold, I fucked it up. The first thing I done, I did the orientation wrong. You see the bore is in the wrong spot. But also came in real hard and heavy with the face mill. You see how hard that was. Now that tool will handle that, but the fixturing, as we saw, wouldn't. Popped right out. That kind of gives me a bit of a pucker factor there. So I eased back on that. And instead of doing, well, let's, let's zoom right in here. There's the surface finish on the second attempt. So we come in here, faced off the top lengthwise, and then drilled, spotted, and then drilled a through hole half inch in order to allow for the center of the tool that high feed mill doesn't cut. So we had to get rid of that material. Otherwise, we, it would have cut if we had a bigger circle, but we only had a, it was just moving, but uh, an eighth of an inch. So we didn't have that much. And I was worried about the chips getting evacuated, recutting and so forth. So we did the through spindle air blast. That seemed to work out okay. And then while we had the mill, the shell mill in the mill, we come along and did the periphery. Now you can see I was quite aggressive on the prototype there, or the fuck up, quite aggressive and you can see it chewing up and recutting. So instead of quarter inch drops, what we did was one eighth and then we increased the speed of the tool, the RPM, and we increased the feed and that seemed to take tinier bites and less chance of it popping out. You can see when it did pop out, it was taking this a quarter inch chunk. Now the problem we come across, the new one on me, is we didn't drill down deep enough. We needed to add about a hundred thou because that high feed cutter is rounded on the bottom so it didn't cut out that last little bit of the bore. He's just going to whack a nut in there and weld something in there, threaded Acme. Uh, so it doesn't have to be that tight but we do have to get rid of that lip. I'm just going to try manually here with my stepped drill bit. How do you sharpen one of these? That way. In the words of Fred Dibna, nothing like a good clean hand job. <laughs> 